Company. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 152nd Annual Dinner of the Greater Scranton Chamber of the Commerce, and please welcome the owner of Quest Studio, here to sing God Bless America, Ms. Talia Walsh. Thank you. Oh, what a night. Late December back in 63. What a very special time for me. December 1963. But you're close. Yeah. She was everything I dreamed she'd be. Good evening, everybody. Hi, I'm Bob Durkin, President of the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce. I want to welcome to you to our very unusual 152nd anniversary annual dinner. Uh, obviously, this is something unique. Uh, it's not what we had originally planned. Uh, we were uh, originally going to have our annual dinner at the end of March, but obviously the circumstances changed quickly with COVID-19. So our board, our staff, and other community leaders, and specifically our sponsors, uh, told us that they wanted us to go ahead with something. And we said, well, we're going to try it. We're going to be the first ones to try the virtual annual dinner. Not only are we the first uh, here in northeastern Pennsylvania, but we're actually sort of a trendsetter across the country. We have a number of representatives of uh, various chambers from across the country joining us tonight to, to look in and see how this works. So we're really hoping it's going to play out a little bit better than uh, perhaps uh, the start. We were a little choppy on the breakout rooms, uh, but uh, hopefully everybody had a good time listening to the music of Flying Ivories. And if you had a chance to go in the, the breakout rooms, I hope you met somebody new. Uh, that's what we always try to do through our networking. Uh, one of the things that uh, happened uh, along the way here, uh, as we've, we've gotten to this point, is we've all learned a whole lot about Zoom. We've learned about Teams. Uh, we've learned how to dial the, uh, the number and go to the website of uh, Pennsylvania Wine and Spirits. Welcome to Scranton. <laughs> We're broadcasting here from, uh, from Posh. So uh, we want to say thanks to, to Paul and Josh uh, for accommodating us here tonight. What you don't see with me standing here are all the folks that are gathered around here trying to bring this uh, technical dream to a reality. Um, so uh, essentially what we want to do here is deviate a little bit from what we normally would do in an annual dinner. Traditionally, we would give information. I would, I would talk to you a great deal about 
uh, the work of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, but we're going to deviate uh, on the side of fun and, and, uh, and maybe some silliness as well. So uh, in addition to the great talent that we have here with Flying Ivories, or Dueling Pianos, uh, we have a terrific individual who's going to serve as our host and provide us with additional entertainment tonight. Um, our, this gentleman is a Scranton native. His family uh, owns a Scranton business, a long-standing Scranton business. He worked there for a long time, but he decided, as he had through his youth, that he really enjoyed magic. Uh, and he started to work on it and ultimately perfected it to the point where he's appeared on uh, NBC, uh, Fox Television, uh, and he appeared on uh, the program with Penn and Teller, Fool Us. And, uh, and he's really an accomplished magi magician and a very uh, interesting gentleman. And so I'm going to introduce you to our host for the evening, Pat Corby. Or, I said Denny Corby. <laughs> uh, of course, I was that close. <laughs> It could have been so much worse. I've, I've been called a lot worse. So uh, thank you all so much for coming. My name is Denny Corby, your host across what promises to be a tremendous evening full of fun, magical entertainment, and of course, the virtual annual dinner. So thank you all so much for coming and joining us to be a part of this. It's funny because you almost called me a musician, which actually got me out of a ticket like a while ago because I was driving back from New York City and the cop goes, what were you doing in New York City? And I was like, I was doing a show. He's like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, magician. He goes, what do you play? I was like, magician. He goes, what do you play? I said, magician. He goes, what do you play? I said, magician, magic tricks. He goes, okay, go ahead. He just like, let me go. I think it was too embarrassed. Uh, but thank you all so much for coming. We're going to have a ton of fun. So to get things started, uh, we're at about 6 o'clock. We're at the happy hour. So I thought we'd do a quick little observation test to make sure everyone's on the same page. So I'm going to show you all some cards. And I want you all to memorize as many details about these cards as you can in the next five seconds. I'm going to give you five seconds to memorize as many details about these cards as you can. Get ready? Here we go. That's five, four, three, two, and one. All right, question number one is how many cards were there? If we said five, there's exactly five. The questions will get more difficult as, as we go on. And don't worry, I can see you all. Ha, ha, ha. All right, next question is, what was the bottom card? If you said blank, it's actually the ace of spades. See, a lot of people miss it because there's a ton of white space on it. Next question is, what color were the backs? If you said blue, they're actually red. And the last question is, what were the other four cards? If you said blank, I think you missed the royal flush. So give, give yourselves a big round of applause for playing that out. Hopefully, hopefully nobody passed that. If you did, you can have my job. I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So, you know, it's really fun uh, and super interesting that I'm here doing this tonight because I found whenever I do different groups, different organizations, uh, working with them all throughout the country, I found whenever you get a group of people together, whether it's live in person or virtually, kind of like we're doing tonight, whenever you get people together, they tend to think and act the same. Uh, it sounds really weird, but the only way I could describe this is with a magic trick. So, like I said, I can see all of you, so I'm going to use a bunch of people to help me collectively come up with a random playing card from this deck of cards. So I can see a bunch of you. If I call you out, you have to obviously unmute yourself, and then you're going to help me uh, participate here. But we're, we're, going, we're going to come up with a random playing card. So I'm going to go to the first person. I'm going to say, are we going to use the red cards or the black cards? Whatever you say we will use. So if you say red cards, we'll either use the hearts of the diamonds. If you say the black cards, we'll either use the clubs or the spades. So let's go over here to, uh, it's Don Brominski. Sorry, the, it's a little far away. I have horrible sight. So if I mispronounce your name or can't see it uh, inc incorrectly, I apologize. So Don, how's it going, sir? Good. All right. So Don, in a deck of cards, there's red cards and black cards. Do you want to use the red cards or the black cards? Red cards. Say that one more time. Red. Cards. The red cards. Beautiful. So that means we can either use the hearts or the diamonds. This is getting so weird already. All right, we're going to go over here to Angela Ferry. What's up, Angela Ferry? Hi, Danny. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Awesome. So we, uh, we had red cards. You want to use the hearts or the diamonds? The diamonds. Oh, it's getting so crazy. Thank you so much. So we had red cards. We have diamonds. We're going to go down here to Nancy Jeffers. What's up, Nancy? Can you unmute yourself? <laughs> Sorry. Hello, hello. Hey, okay. So we are live. So we had red cards, not just any red cards. It was the diamonds, correct? Yes. For the diamonds? Diamonds. So do you want to use the high diamonds or the low diamonds, Nancy? The high diamonds. The high diamonds. Now, do you consider the high cards above the seven, eight, or nine? Uh, above the nine. This is getting good. Thank you so much. We're going to go over here to Stephanie. Is it Mihal? Did I say that right? 
Yep. All right. So, Stephanie, we have red cards. That's not just any red cards. The diamonds, not just any diamonds. The high diamonds, nine and above. So that's nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. Do you want to use the odds or the evens? Uh, let's do evens. Oh, this is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. So that means even high diamonds, that'll be either the 10 or jack would be 11 and the queen would be 12. So we can do 10 or 12. Uh, those are the only two that we have left because if we would have said odds, we would have had a couple bit more. Uh, so we're going to go over here to, is it uh, Frank? Oh man, I'm going to butcher your last name, Frank. I'm so sorry. Uh, Kalanick? Kilianic. Oh, I was. So far away. Kind of okay. close. So, yep. so, <laughs> all right. So uh, I, I get really bad like name ang uh, anxiety because I once called this guy's. It was Paul Smith, and I was like, "Oh, Mr. Smith." He goes, "It's Smythe." And so ever since then, <laughs> I have like the worst like anxiety mispronounced people's names. So collectively, we had red cards and that's any red cards. The diamonds as any diamonds. The high diamonds. We narrowed it down to the even high diamonds. That leaves us with the ten or the queen. You, sir, do you want to use the ten or the queen? Queen, please. You are welcome. That was so polite. Thank you so much. I'm looking at like, like a ton of people here. There's not. All right. So you collectively, all of us here tonight came up with the queen of diamonds. So if we go here to the deck, we're going to go through all the cards are in order. So we have all the spades. We have all the diamonds. We're going to go right to the queen of diamonds, which is the card that you all came up with today here with the chamber. In and of itself is not that amazing. But believe me, this really is. Because we're going to take the queen, I'm going to leave it up here in my jacket so you can see it the whole time. Now, like I said, these cards are in order. We have all of the uh, hearts, we have all the clubs, all the diamonds, and all the spades. But more importantly, on the back, I wrote down some of my clients from the past year, year and a half. So here on the uh, Ace of Hearts, we have ADP. Uh, we have Janus Capital, we have UBS, uh, Wind Creek Casino, Comcast, Hilton, Marriott, Georgetown University, Tyson Foods, uh, Mid-State Lumber, European Wax Center. Each, you can see each and every one of these cards has a completely different name from a completely different client of mine on all these different cards. So if we go through, each and every one is different. We have USO, AAA, Henry Schein, McDonald's, Porsche, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Pocono Raceway, NASCAR, uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. What? But you can see each and every one of these cards has a completely different name, a completely different client. But remember in the very beginning, I said whenever you get a group of people together, whether it's virtually or in person, they tend to think and act the same. Because you all just didn't pick any card or any uh, Queen of Diamonds. You picked the Queen of Diamonds that on the back said, the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce. What? 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 That's just craziness. That's just nuts. I will be back very soon to do some more magic. Let's give it back over to the Flying Ivories. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. She loves to laugh. She loves to sing. She loves everything. She loves to move. She loves to groove. She loves a loving thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our presenting sponsor and the president of PNC Bank, Mr. Pete Danchek. Ladies and gentlemen, PNC has the distinct honor of sponsoring tonight's show. We have sponsored the Chamber's annual dinner for the past 16 years, and it's truly one of the best events that the Chamber hosts on an annual basis. As Bob mentioned, these are different times, and tonight's dinner is different. With that being said, we always have an in-person dinner, so we're happy to announce that everyone who purchased the ticket was mailed a chamber member restaurant gift certificate to the address on your registration. I'd like to remind everyone, please support the restaurants in Northeastern Pennsylvania. So tonight, we're excited to have the entertainment of the Flying Ivory Dueling Pianos with us, who will continue to take requests be the chat feature when the show is over. We're equally excited to have Denny Gorby with us tonight, offering his extraordinary talent with some fun surprises later in the show. And lastly, I'm happy to announce the addition of prize time to the dinner. We gave prizes out during the networking piece, so please stay tuned because there's so many more prizes to be awarded, and you must be present to win. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and I hope you all win a prize. 
And now it's time to give away another prize. It's prize time. Who's our lucky winner going to be? Watch that number in the bottom corner of your screen. And our winner is... Number 172, Marianne Gilmartin with Stevens and Lee. Marianne, please enter your information where you would like your gift certificates uh, mailed to. And what are we going to give away? This uh, round, our prizes are Corky's Garden Center and Greenfield Power Equipment and Clothing. Two different gift certificates totaling $200. Wonderful. So, Marianne, you'll be getting the Corky's Garden Path and uh, Greenfield Power Equipment. Now we have another set of prizes, Bob. <laughs> yes, I'm going to bring on... Uh, I think it's Pat this time. Pat Frischoni, the chair of our board. Okay, Bob, thank you very much. Thanks, and sir. our next gift okay. is a $200 value, and it's from Bee's Backyard and Enchanted Elephant. Wonderful. Lucky winner is number 104, and that is Elizabeth Nagy from NBT Bank. Congratulations, Liz. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Congratulations. Right. Please right, enter your information where you would like your gift certificates uh, mailed to, and we'll get those right out to you. some more magic what all right so yes uh, you did hear in the very beginning uh, I'm born and raised still live in northeastern Pennsylvania yet I travel all over the world uh, doing an interactive comedy magic show uh, ever since I was younger I've had a passion for magic and my family owns uh, the real life Dunder Mifflin Pennsylvania but for a little bit restart no oh it's oh it's live live oh, okay still we're still rolling kidding I know it's live uh, so my family owns the Dunder Mifflin Pennsylvania Paper and Supply Company. Uh, so I quit that about six, seven years ago to uh, travel the world turning tricks, as my dad likes to say. So we all have jokes in the family. But speaking of magic, we're doing sleight of hand. And to me, we're going to do the ultimate in sleight of hand, which is a game. And the game is called Three Card Monty. Uh, some of you may have played this game. Some of you may have even heard about it before. Uh, but don't worry, no one's going to win. No one's going to lose. There's no money involved. But I'm going to show you just how when this game is played, super fair and slow people get scammed out of a lot of money. So we're going to play the game. Obviously, it uses three cards, hence the name, three card Monty. Uh, two cards are there just to confuse you. Those are the two black cards, the two and the three. All you have to do is pay attention to the red one. That's the money card. That's the one you have to follow. So we have the three. That one's there just to confuse you. We have the ace. That's the money card. And we have the two. Now, where they play this game a lot, like New York, Chicago, L.A., Boston, Las Vegas, they take the cards and they shuffle them up really fast. And as they do this, they talk to you really fast. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go super, super slow to give you every chance possible to catch the scam. So we're going to start from the very beginning. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the ace. Pay no attention to the other cards. They are there just to confuse you. Now, there, there's no money involved, but if I were to ask you where you, where you think the money card is, you would go dead. Hands down, it's got to be here. But don't think that. That's a black one. See, that's a black one. This is a black one. The money card's always where you least expect it. In this case, it's right here in the middle. Now, I know I may have went too fast. You didn't know what to expect, so I'll slow it down, and we'll do it again. All you have to do is keep your eyes on that money card. Pay no attention to the other ones. They are there just to confuse you. We're going to mix them up a little bit. Now, some of you, I, I can see pointing going right there, uh, but no, that's a three. 
See, that's a three. This is a, this is a two. The money cards always where you least expect it. In this case, all the way over here at the end. Now, it, that doesn't count. I saw somebody after I showed the second card, they started pointing at the third. You can't see two out of the three and keep pointing. It doesn't count. Uh, so we're going to do it one more time. And this time, we're not going to play uh, three card Monty. We're going to make it a little bit more difficult. We're going to play two card Monty. So I'm going to get rid of one of the cards completely, uh, leaving just a 50 50 shot. So all I got to do is keep your eyes on the ace. Now, I can see a lot of you. Give me a thumbs up if you think the money card is right here in the right hand. Give me a thumbs up if you think the money card is in the right hand. And give me a thumbs up if you think the money card is in the left hand. Gotcha. But remember what I said in the very beginning, though. The money card is never where you expect it. It's always where you least expect it. In this case, it was down on the table the entire time. What? All right. So let's, uh, let's try. That was uh, the three-card Monty. Let's, I want to get into the minds of some people. Let's get into the minds of some people. Uh, I see Miss Ann Henry. Ann Henry, can you help me out? You unmute? Yes, I'll help you out. And we're li oh, thank you so much, Ann. I appreciate it. Uh, Ann, where are you calling in from? Flemington, New Jersey. You're lost. Yes, that's true. Man, when, when they said the greater Scranton, you really pushed that greater limit. I'm okay. From, I'm from <laughs> Say that one more time. I'm from Scranton originally. Look at, nice, me too. Small world. All right, so, Ann, uh, do me a favor. I want you to imagine a clock on the wall. And okay. on that clock, don't say anything out loud. Keep it to yourself, but you want, I want you to imagine a time. Don't say it out loud. Just imagine a time on a clock. Do you, do you have a time in mind? I do. Now, is it a random time, or does it like mean something to you? Random. Random. Okay, so it might be a little bit more difficult. What's going to happen is I'm going to attempt to reach from the interwebs here of Scranton to you in New Jersey, pluck the time out of your head, and put it onto my watch. So I'm going to pull out the pin so I can get the hands to move. Cool. And... Um, can you do me a favor? Tell me, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Light or dark? Dark. Dark blue. It's like a, like a royal blue. Yeah, that works. The pen is blue. The pen is... Okay, never mind. Uh, so blue. Uh, any, any pets? No. No. Any kids? No. What color is your car? I have two cars. <laughs> oh, you bougie. Okay. I do uh, have a blue one. And I do have a blue <laughs> Okay. One. All right, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, out loud, count from 1 to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And as quick as you can, count from 12 down to 1. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, I think you're going to be right about here. I'm going to push that in. I'm going to keep my hands away so I can't move or touch anything. What's the time that you were thinking of? 3. 3 o'clock? Yes. And that was just completely random. Correct. There was no like significance to this. And, and there's no way that I can know that you would think of three, correct? Correct. That's so crazy because on my watch, I put exactly three o'clock. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for the help, Ann. I really appreciate it. And let's get no, back to the show and give it up for the Flying Ivories. That ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpiece. Styling, wildin', living it up in the city. We got Chuck Song, we got St. Laurent. Gotta kiss myself, I'm too pretty. I'm too hot, up there. Call the police and the fireman. I'm too hot, up there. Make a dragon motor and say, man, I'm too hot, up there. Say my name, you know who I am. I'm too hot, Jenny. My fans mouth that money. Bring it down now. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Good. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to ya. Uptown Funk gon' give it to ya. Saturday night are we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Just watch, don't believe me, just watch, don't believe me, just watch. Eh, 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 oh! Good evening. My name is Pat Shoney, and I'm chairman of the board of directors of the Greater Strand Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to welcome you tonight to our 152nd annual dinner. For more than 150 years, the chamber has been the leading business organization in northeastern Pennsylvania, and the success would not be possible 
without the support of its members, including tonight's sponsors. It has been an unprecedented year across the United States with COVID-19. And even among the crisis, we had to move this event to a virtual platform. But all the sponsors agreed to stay on in the support of our community. We can't thank them enough for both their commitment to the chamber and to Northeastern Pennsylvania. And as Bob had said earlier, this is our first shot at this virtual platform. And of course, there will always be some computer glitches. And tonight, we weren't able to let in some of you, but no worries, because immediately after our show, it will be available on our website. So now let's take a look at all these members who made tonight's event possible. Now let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you, sponsors. Now please, everyone, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Desmond has a barrel in the marketplace. Molly is a singer in a man. back with some more magic. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to show you one of my favorite pieces of close-up sleight of hand magic. That's actually been kind of fun about doing all these virtual shows. Uh, so over the past two months or so, I've done over, I think, about 120 virtual events. Uh, and the shows that I do all around the world, uh, those shows are for, like, very, like, large groups. So anywhere from, like, 5, 10, 15, up to 5,000 people and everything in between. Uh, but those shows require a different set of material. But what's cool about these shows is because we have cool camera sets, uh, setups and everything, is I can do really cool close-up style magic that normally most people don't get to see me do. Uh, so I'm going to show you one of my favorite pieces of close-up sleight of hand magic. Uh, uses something that we all know and like, which is some money. So do something with some money. This is uh, one, two, three, four, and five. One dollar bills. If you're here with me in person, I usually pass these out for people to check out, look at, uh, examine, smell, sniff. Uh, you can see that's bill number one. This is number two, number three, number four, and number five. All you have to do is watch the four corners. Watch the four corners as it happens on the count of three. One, two, and three. And now that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. One hundred dollar bills. What? Making it rain. I'm kidding. No one makes it rain in Scranton. I make it drizzle all day, though. I'll make it drizzle all day in Scranton. Uh, so it's really funny. I was actually doing a show, and somebody said, that's, that's neat and all, but can you change them back? Check this out. All you have to do is watch the four corners. It's going to happen on the count of three. One, two, three. And they change right back to the one, two, three, four, five. One dollar bills. What? All right, so uh, we're going to do one more really crazy one right now using uh, these 15 envelopes. We have 15 envelopes. Um, 
each one is, uh, oh, <laughs> wrong way, there we go. We're going to switch them back. This way. There we go. So 15, so it looks better for your end. So it's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, uh, I can't shuffle these up because you probably don't trust me, and I don't doubt you. Uh, and you're not here to help me shuffle them. So uh, you are all from your homes are going to help me collectively shuffle up these envelopes. Uh, so if I call on you, uh, you have one of two options. You can either say drop. If you say drop, I'm going to take the envelope and drop it down to the table, or you can say switch and drop. And if you say switch and drop, I'm going to take the top envelope, switch it with the one next to it, and drop them both down. So you can either drop, or we can switch and drop. We can drop, switch and drop, drop, switch and drop, drop, or switch and drop. The choice is completely yours. So I'm going to go right down here to Tim Pryle. Did I say that right? You did. Oh, man, you were ready. Look at this. I love it. He had this hand on the unmute button. This is great. All right, so Tim, so you're, you're going to make all these choices, all the decisions, or, well, some at least. Uh, just to start, do you want me to drop or switch and drop? Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Switch. Switch and drop? Uh, drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Okay, so we're going to switch them. Drop or switch and drop? Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Drop. Boom. All right, I'm going to go right up here to, it just says... A little John. Hi. All right. Are we going to drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Switch and drop. Boom. Drop or switch and drop? I don't know how I needed this. Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. All right. And drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Boom. And then la drop or switch and drop? Drop. Good answer. All right. We're going to go <laughs> down here to Chris Shermack. What's up, Chris Shermack? How are you, Denny? Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. All right, so drop or s switch and drop? Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Boom. Drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Boom. I love it. All right, we're going to go down here to Nancy Sarno. What's up, Nancy Sarno? You are unmuted. All right, are we going to drop or switch and drop, Nance? Oh, you're still muted. Oh, no. We're going to come back, Nance. We're going to come back. I see Lisa Brister, I think. Is that correct? Brister? I, that's right. All right. Swa uh, swatch. You want to swatch? Uh, I drop do want to or swatch. switch and drop? <laughs> switch and drop. All right. Boom. Drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Switch and drop. Drop or switch and drop? Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Switch and drop. Drop or switch and drop? Drop. Drop or switch and drop? Drop. Apparently drop. Good answer. All right. So this is the order that you all collectively came up with. Uh, so this is, it's four, six, five. Uh, the whole number goes down. I'm no math mathematician. Uh, I went to Abington. Uh, but apparently, because we have 15 envelopes, you do 15 times 14 times 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, that's the approximate odds of this order happening again. So the order that you guys put these envelopes in, uh, if you would have said, said switch or drop at any other point, this whole outcome would have been different. Like the 8 would have been down, down where maybe the 12 is. The 12 could have ended up where the 14 is. Or this whole outcome would have been different. But this is so crazy. Check this out. So if we go to envelope number 4, inside envelope number 4 is one piece of paper and one piece of paper only. And inside that piece of paper is a little piece of paper that says S. Now, if you would have, uh, we go to number six. Number six, inside number six is one piece of paper and one piece of paper only. And inside that one is a C. Now, if we go to the next one, that's an R. Number seven is an A. If you would have said switch or drop at any other point, this whole outcome would have been different. But the whole order that you guys put all of these envelopes into perfectly spells out S-C-R-A-N-T-O-N-C-H-A-M-B-E-N-R. You perfectly spelled out Scranton Chamber. What? Now, I, I know it's the greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce, but I, that, that would have been like a thousand envelopes. It would have been here all night. The odds would have been tremendous. But thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for being members of the greater Scranton, Scranton Chamber. And I will be back very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, give it back over to Bob. All right. <laughs> Bob, guess what? We yes, have sir. more gifts. And we have our first gift is Tuxedo by Sarno. It's a men's suit for Zoom, a Zoom suit. Uh, it's a jacket. And guess what? We get free pants. A $265 <laughs> value. And the winner is... Our winner is number...
number 56, Kevin Farrell from Marywood University. Kevin, please enter your contact information where you'd like your gift certificate mailed to in the chat feature tonight in the box. And I know Kevin, and he needs us soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have another one coming up. Uh, and this is a combination, two gifts. We've got uh, a gift from the Waverly General Store and another one from Poppet Boutique. $200 value, it's two different uh, $100 gift certificates. So let's see who our winner is. Our number is 189, and that is Stacy Miller from Penn Foster. Stacy, please enter your direct contact information in the chat feature, and we'll mail those gift certificates right out to you now. Am I doing this with this? Sing along. Well, I think it's time for more. Hey, Bob, how about a sing along? <laughs> What you sing? That sounds great, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. So uh, I have one last really cool piece of magic that I want to share with you all because uh, what we're doing is kind of weird. Uh, I've, like I said, I've done over, over 100 virtual shows. It doesn't get easier. Uh, you know, I'm a very interactive performer, as you can tell. I use, use a lot of people. So still, you know, being able to do this is still killing me a little bit. I was flying upwards of like 130 to 150,000 miles a year uh, from Avoca out. And now I don't get to travel as much. Uh, but we're here virtually. So I thought, you know, as things are kind of opening up, what if we planned a dream night out in the greater Scranton area? Uh, so almost like a post-Rona fun trip, so to speak. So let's go over here to, uh, it is Kenneth. All I see is it's okay. Oh crap! It's kind of blocked okay. off. Oh, oh crap! There we go. I'm here. How's Anything it going, you sir? Need. I'm all in for a great Scranton night out. I love it. I love it. So on this night out, it's going to be me, you, and all of us here on on the on the event. We can go More anywhere in the greater Scranton area. We can go at any place, any any location, any city, any restaurant. We can go wherever. Where are we going to go? PNC Field. PNC Field. Go to Real Riders game. All of us. It'll feed us all. It, it will fit all of us, and then a couple more. So we're going to go to PNC Field. I love it. Uh, and then I see Kevin Farrell. What's up, Kevin Farrell? Not much. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Oh, Kevin, so we're going to go to PNC Field, and on the way, we're going to pick up a celebrity. Who are we going to pick up to go with us to PNC Field? Oh, gosh. Um, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock? What? That was so random. <laughs> you said anybody, I like it, right? I like it. I like it. Uh, so we're going to PNC Field with Sandra Bullock. Uh, I see Noelle Snyder. What's up, Noelle? Caught her off guard. She's like, who, me? All right. <laughs> There's there a show go. going on. It's crazy. Hi. Hello, Noelle. So we're going to go to PNC Field with Sandra Bullock, and uh, we can get there any way possible. Like, it doesn't have to be um, a car. We can take a plane, a helicopter, a limo, jetpack, magic carpet. All right, we can get there any way possible. How are we all going to get to PNC Field? <laughs> With Sandra Bullock. One on a trolley. A trolley. Makes sense. I love it. I love We're going to go to PNC Field with Sandra Bullock in a trolley. And then I see Elizabeth Nagy. What's up, Elizabeth? Doing well. How about you? Oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. So uh, we're going to go to PNC Field with Sandra Bullock in a trolley. Uh, how much is this whole trip going to cost? Yeah. We're going to say it's going to cost $500. $500, the deal of the century. All right, so uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but behind me, the entire show has been a box. 
Uh, as you can see, we are here at Posh, so there's no crazy backgrounds. These are no fake backgrounds. If you recognize Posh, this is the background here. This is the bar. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing below the box. There's nothing behind it, nothing above. Uh, there's a lock in front. It's sealed. On all sides, you can't get in from the top, bottom, anyway. But inside the box is something really interesting that I put before the show started that I think you'll like to see. So if you take off the lock, inside the box is a glass jar. And inside the glass jar is a folded up piece of paper. I think you'll find the results really interesting. Check this out. Because this is our post-Rona trip. Post-Rona's. Post Malone's daughter. All right. That one's just for me. Post-Rona trip. Going to PNC Field with Sandra Bullock. Getting there by a trolley and the whole trip costing, drum roll please, that was, that not a good look, $500. What? What? But the crazy the part is, what's even crazier is, uh, hey, Ann, guess what time we have to leave? We have to leave by 3 o'clock. <laughs> so we call in the biz, the call back. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Thanks for allowing me to do some fun entertainment. We're going to kick it back over to the band. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the Flying Ivories. Denny, that was amazing. We don't know how you do it, but we love it. The wheels keep on turning. They carry me home to see my again. Singing songs about the Southland. This old band that once again all the things I sing, yeah. Oh, Mr. Young, sing about her. People rocking in the free world. Oh, the hills and around. Oh, the hills and around. Hi, folks. Bob Durkin back again. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that is, again, a part of the traditional annual dinner uh, is an opportunity to talk about our program year. And again, as I said earlier, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail on that, but I will say this, that for the nine months that preceded the shutdown as a result of the virus, uh, we were having probably an historic year here in our economy in northeastern Pennsylvania. And that might give someone pause to say, you know, that's a, a, you know, more than a shame. We're depressed about the whole thing. But I, I don't think we need to be because of this. Because what we've seen in terms of the response of the community of Northeastern Pennsylvania, we saw it in the businesses. We saw it in the chamber. We saw it in the folks who sponsored this event. We've seen it in, uh, seen it in the human service agencies, for certain. We've seen it in our gov government and elected officials. And I think it's, it speaks to the backbone of this community. And I think it's something that we should take pride in. When I think about uh, the way we've, we've pulled things together, uh, from a staff standpoint, we rallied around uh, issues over these last three months. And it was all about reaching out and connecting to our businesses. So in some ways, we really had this in a phased process. The immediate reaction, what do we do? How do we try to help people during the immediate emergency? In the second part of it, we started looking, and we were a little bit more mature. We knew a little bit more, and we turned our attention to trying to do things to sort of stabilize things and, and prepare people for re-entry. And now we're at that point. We're at the point where people are going to be coming back. We're going to be entering the green phase very shortly. But we've already stepped through the, uh, the yellow phase, and things are, people are doing more and uh, doing it cautiously, which is critically important. So what we've done and what we've prepared is what we call hashtag revive NEPA. It's an initiative of the Chamber of Commerce where we're doing in partnership with the uh, Lackawanna County Regional Recovery Task Force. Uh, and it includes a whole host of initiatives. Uh, many of you as chamber members would have gotten a mailing uh, last week that included uh, a pledge. And we're asking all of our businesses, all of our retail service, restaurants, et cetera, where you have customers walking your door, pledge to adhere to the CDC 
and Pennsylvania Department of Health standards. Um, you also received uh, other information about wearing masks, other information about where you can find PPP from local vendors, chamber members. And you also would have received some of these. These are not large coasters for that empty growler you wish you could take to the draft house. These are actually floor stickers. Uh, and we want to uh, advise any of our members who receive these, if you need more, please call us at the chamber. We have some more we can give you so you can make sure people are safe in your business. Uh, the other thing that we're doing with Revive, and we'll be rolling, continue to roll this out, and tonight is a start, is, is making sure that we as members and citizens of Northeastern Pennsylvania support those businesses who've been hit the hardest. The, the service industry businesses, the barbers, the salons, the uh, restaurants, uh, small boutique retail operations. All of them have been really challenged by this. So what we're asking you to do, and we're starting with tonight, uh, we went and as a part of this event, everybody who's a paid uh, attendee at 400 plus individuals for this event uh, will receive a gift card from one of 40 different restaurants that, that you helped us support. It was the funding that came from this dinner that allowed us to go out. We didn't ask anybody to donate. What we did was we went out and bought these gift cards. So if you didn't receive that today, you'll be getting it in the next day or two to one of your favorite restaurants. Hey, please go out there, use that gift card, and spend a little bit more than even what's on that, uh, that credit, uh, because that's what it's all about. We're trying to help each other. And to that end, our staff went around talking to and collecting these gift cards, and they really saw some interesting things. And we have a slideshow we want to show you about what it looks like for those who are out in the field, those who are on the ground here in Lackawanna County. Let's take a look. Okay, prize time again. Um, this time we have uh, a gift from the Roba Family Farms and Over the Moon, uh, $300 value. The Roba Family Farms, by the way, it's, it's going to be a fun family event, a campfire. So we want to uh, make sure that everybody gets a chance to sit around, you know, safe distance from each other. <laughs> and so uh, who's, who's going to be the winner there? Winner is number 206, Nicole Strauser from Prudential. Congratulations, Nicole. Um, enjoy your gift cards. Please place in the chat where you would like us to mail your gift certificates to, and we'll get them out immediately. And Pat, this is enough. We can't have more prizes, do we? Bob, I, how about this one? Oh my gosh, yet another. This one right here is a Yeti cooler from a locally owned uh, the uh, True Value in uh, Ace, Hardware, uh, Ace Hardware in Danville. <laughs> in Daleville, and a uh, case of uh, Deep Roots Hard Cider. Now, I wish, Bob, that I had this case during uh, the pandemic when the state stores were closed, but unfortunately, uh, I guess I was the loser on this. Or maybe earlier this evening. Well, that's true, too. So uh, with that, how about the winner? Number 64 is our winner, and that's Joe Bonsack with ESSA Bank. Congratulations, Yay. Joe. We're not going to mail this one to you, so if you could please uh, place
place in the chat your email address, although we do know it, we'll get this prize right to you. Joe, maybe we could use this at the Penn State game. <laughs> Fifty-two on a Wednesday. Precisely. The regular crowd shovels in. There's an old man sitting next to me. Make it love to his tonic and gin. Says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. You guys know it. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. For the rock and the blue, for a melody. Uh -huh. You got us feeling all right. So, it's been quite an evening. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of great entertainment. Uh, certainly before we do our wrap up, I want to say thank you to, uh, to Denny Corby, who did such a great job, such an amazing talent, and it's great to know he's right here from Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, I want to thank, uh, again, Paul and Josh from here at, here at Posh uh, for providing us with uh, the venue and such a hospitable location for us to do this this evening. Um, and. Wait, Bob. Uh, Pat, wait, this must wait. be it. There can't be more. We have one more <laughs> gift. One more gift. And really? You're not going to believe this when I when I, I tell you what. Well, what it's I don't. All I don't about. believe you usually. So. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a uh, from Woolock uh, Resort an all-inclusive family getaway for four, and it's over a thousand dollar value. And Bob, I think since you and I worked so hard the last this past year that you and I should... Uh, I think the board so. should be allowed to win this, yes. I, I, I agree. So you and I, uh, we could take a person of our choice there. <laughs> and um, what do you think? Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, so much fun. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that said, I too also want to thank everyone for this evening. I hope you found it uh, in, uh, informative, entertaining, and uh, thank you very much for uh, being here tonight. And uh, how about the winner for the all-inclusive package to Woodlock? Fine. Our winner is number 113, and that is Lisa Brister with Outreach. Congratulations, Lisa. You and your family will enjoy this getaway. If you just please place in the chat your mailing address where you would like this sent, and we'll get this right out for you. Again, Lisa Brister with Outreach. Thank you. So again, I want to say thank you to everybody, and certainly a very big thank you to uh, key members of our staff, uh, Christine Augustine, Mari Potus, Tina Beechaver, uh, Allison Kalanowski, Kal Alicia, Alicia Kalansky, sorry. This has been a rough one already, isn't it? Sorry, Alicia. Uh, and all the folks who've been a part of this, and I have to say this, uh, first of all, we're not really wrapping up. Please, we're going to invite you to stick around for the next hour. Uh, Flying Ivories are going to continue to play. Uh, your favorites, and you can send uh, your favorites and request in on the chat bar uh, of the uh, Zoom uh, page. Uh, and I just want to say this to, to Flying Ivory. I'm not joking in any way. Virtually every song you've played is one of the favorites of my son, Kevin, who is on here, and I'm sure he's dancing in the kitchen up at uh, 133 East Acorn. So with that, uh, Endeavor, Endeavor Audio, sorry, we want to thank Endeavor Audio as well. So um, everybody's done a great job. Really do appreciate it. If it was a little choppy, it's the first time we've ever done this, and let's hope it's the last. Uh, let's hope that everybody remains safe. Uh, so as we move forward, let's, let's listen to something maybe a little inspiring.
Guys, if you're out there, give a round of applause to Bob and Pat and Denny and Mari and uh, Paul and Josh for hosting this for us and all the AV crew and everybody behind the scenes making tonight possible. This was a great event. Stick around, as they said. We'll be here for the next hour. So if you're on that Zoom right now, get that chat box open. And we want to hear some requests from you guys right now. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world You took the midnight train going Just a city boy. Where was he from? Born and raised in South Detroit. Where is that? That's in Canada. Took a midnight train going anywhere. Oh, you want to do a little solo for us? Guitar, piano. Piano. Faster. 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 Give it up for James. I sing her in a smoke-free room yes. Smell of wine and cheap perfume For a smile they can share the night It goes on and on, on and on Strangers waiting Up and down the boulevard And shadows searching in the night Come on Barbie, let's go party street light Sure. Beep. No? Yeah. Living just... Okay, Ken. Okay, Ken. Hiding I'm so somewhere in the night. Working on to get my fill. And everybody wants a thrill. Playing anything to roll the dice like in the yard seat. Some will win. Some will lose, some are born to sing the blues, oh, the movie never ends, it goes on and on, and on and on, strangers waiting, nothing down the boulevard, and shadows searching in the night, Mari Thank just looks fabulous, street light, people, Living just to find emotion Hiding somewhere in the night All right, you guys have been hopefully singing along with us all night. Um, and this is the part where you guys really shine, all right? So we're going to hit the chorus. Here we go, guys. Ready? One, two, one, two. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. It's the same song. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. We're singing a different song anyway. I said, don't stop. your turn ready I said don't stop believing your turn hold on oh yeah street 